I am uh, Patricia Dix. I am uh, a maternal fetal medicine perinatology specialist at Cox uh, Health. I've been here for 33 years. After five years on the um, faculty at the medical school at the University of Oklahoma in Oklahoma City. So I've been taking care of um, high-risk mothers since 1981. And um, I've taken care of and delivered thousands and thousands of high-risk mothers in the Ozarks in the last uh, 33 years and uh, you know, maintain um, uh, contemporary uh, medical advice from the CDC and the uh, medical associations that deal with these things. Um, so my hope would be that women uh, who I've cared for or women who I am caring for or women who I delivered their little brother who are now pregnant will listen and get the vaccine. Early on, when, when, the, when the virus was first identified and the genome was, was um, sequenced um, so they knew what genes the virus had, um, there was a doctor, an experimenter in Switzerland who um, found a tiny little piece of common genetic material between the virus and, a, and an early placenta. Uh, but it is such a tiny fragment that it is of no clinical consequence at all. And now, almost two years into the virus, there is no evidence that, that the uh, vaccine uh, causes infertility. And the, by far the safest thing pregnant women or women who are planning to be pregnant can do is get the vaccine so that they don't get the infection. Yes, there's no evidence that, and now there have been like 97,000 women who've received <clears throat> either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccines, and there is no difference in the um, degree of side effects or the kinds of side effects. Uh, both vaccines, and indeed every vaccine, can have complications. But complications from vaccines are very rare, and vaccines in, in the last almost 200 years have saved billions of lives. Um, and this one is, has the same promise. Largely prevents them from getting the infection, and if they develop the infection, they're almost surely not going to need to be hospitalized or, uh, or ventilated because we don't like to do either of those things in pregnancy. Uh, and uh, it's very clear now that the antibody that the mother makes crosses the placenta to the baby and the baby is, um, develops, has antibody when the baby is born to protect the baby from infection. And the virus isn't gone yet. Um, it's, every pregnant woman knows that she gets the Tdap vaccine in early third trimester because her antibodies cross the placenta to the baby and protects the baby from getting um, whooping cough in the first three months of life when whooping cough can be lethal. Uh, most often is lethal. It's exactly the same principle and should be treated exactly the same way. The vaccine does not cross the placenta and it cannot hurt the baby. The in mother's infection can hurt the baby. Just that those who have received the vaccine are now protected from serious illness, and that is a great gift in the midst of this terrible surge of the 
COVID in Southwest Missouri. My plea would be that every pregnant woman, regardless of trimester, um, receive either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine. And um, young women who are planning to be, uh, to get pregnant within the next year, now is the time to get the vaccine so that you avoid uh, uh, infection during pregnancy. And if a if the recommendation is that in a year or two we should all get a booster dose, then pregnant women should do that as well. Mm -hmm.